How's it going? Uh, this is Mara doing an update. Um, I haven't done a cycle since December. Um, we we decided a lot of things. Um, so if you've been watching my videos, you'll see that um, the last one in December failed. And um, we looked at a few options and decided to go with the new doctor. Um, he's got a better success rate, but that's on IVF, but I'm hoping that translates in other, um, other procedures also. So, um, let's see, I'm trying to figure out where I'm at and try to give you the, the down low. Um, let's see. So we started a new cycle, um, the very last week of February. So it was like February 27th or something like that. So that's my um, cycle day one. And uh, we had a cycle day three scan, um, which I've never had any issues, so it always went well. So um, then I got my drugs and all I did this cycle, if you see my last videos, I've done injectables and I've done all kinds of stuff, but my most recent one in December, that was an injectable cycle. So. Um, this cycle that I started here at the end of February um, was just letrozole, just Femara. Um, so I took two pills for six days. So two pills a night for six days. And then I had a scan on cycle day 12, or maybe it was 11. I forget now. So, um, so on that scan, which was just a little over a week ago, in fact, it was a week ago today, um, I had a follicle, but I only had one follicle on the right, but it was only an 11, so which is super small. So it's on cycle day 12, I had an 11, um, which isn't enough to proceed with. Uh, my new doctor, he gave me um, some more letrozole. So I took, um, so that was Friday. So on Saturday and Sunday, I took three pills each day. And then I had another scan um, on Tuesday. So Tuesday, we go in and um, my scan showed that that follicle on the right um was now a 17. So it, it definitely helped the, the extra femora. Um, and then since that looked good, he went ahead and did a urine test for ovulation. Um, you know, the, the LH surge. So he did that and it looked like it was surging. So he said to go ahead and schedule for the IUI the next day it's for Wednesday. So Wednesday, my husband and I went in to do the IUI. So um, my husband gave a sample and um, this is the first IUI I've ever had. So it was definitely an experience um, because, you know, my husband gives the sample, they go and wash the sperm um, and check the numbers. And my husband's numbers were fine. I think his last count was like 48 mil or something like that. Um, so, so the, the sperm count was good and, um, so they go ahead and do the IUI and it was, it was uncomfortable. If anyone's had an HSG, it wasn't that uncomfortable, but you know, putting the, the catheter or whatever up into your uterus definitely caused some cramping. Um, and it was very uncomfortable, not as bad again as HSD because it's not only are they putting a catheter up in the HSG, but all of that fluid. Um, and that was really intense to say the least. So this was intense, but only for a second. And it literally took like three seconds. So he inserted it, um, released the sperm or whatever, and then he was back out. So it was in and out. And then he wanted me to just lay there for 10 minutes before getting up and uh, getting dressed and leaving. So, so really easy, very uncomfortable. And it was, and it was kind of achy and uncomfortable for a good chunk of the day from there on out. So, um, so yeah, it wasn't that bad. Um, I am a little concerned and we'll see how this all plays out. Um, we just did the Famara. That's it. No trigger shot. 
nothing. So with the, he said with the LH surge, he was happy with that, that I was going to ovulate on my own. Um, but I, I'll be honest, I, I cannot guarantee, my body will not guarantee ovulation. My body is completely against me having periods, ovulating, creating a decent lining, doing any of those things. So if, if I ovulate on my own, well, with the help of Amara, if I ovulate, I will be really surprised. So we'll see how that goes. I'm getting, I'm doing the uh, P4 test here um, on Wednesday. So in a few more days to see if uh, I really did ovulate. So that's where I'm at right now. I am waiting. I guess I'm in the two week, two week wait. Today's Friday, so I am two days past IUI. Um, and that's it. That's what I'm waiting on is to see if this IUI works. So um, that's where I'm at in my, my new cycle, new doctor. So some things I want to just throw out there and, and talk about. Um, my husband seems like he is done. Like he's had it. And I understand. I, I really do. Because when I'm sitting there, when I was getting my most recent follicle check before the IUI, you know, I'm sitting there waiting for the doctor. You know, I have no clothes on from the bottom down. And, you know, some reality hit me a little bit. And, and all I could say to myself is, what am I doing? God, this is crazy. This is absolutely insane. This is the craziest thing that I, I could ever imagine me doing. I am fighting the hardest fight and losing. I'm not winning this battle. I am losing this battle. I'm fighting the hardest fight and I'm still fighting. And that's good. I'll admit it. But it does sound a little crazy right now because I am still fighting a losing battle. My body is so against being pregnant. It is completely not for it. I mean, I everything I've done has not worked. And I'm still trying. So I do I do have these moments of of reality hitting me where I think I'm crazy and I kind of want to put all my clothes back on and run out of the doctor's office and just say no more. But then, you know, that's what my brain is doing. You know, the reality is coming from my brain. Your heart obviously has a place in this too. Your heart says, keep going, keep trying. You may catch that egg. This could be the one. You know, that's weird. It's weird. But my husband, he's done. He thinks that if this one doesn't work, if I do ovulate, and this one doesn't work, then we shouldn't do anymore. And I don't agree. Even even intellectually, like my mind even says, that doesn't make sense to give up after just one IUI, maybe two, maybe three. But after one, mm -mm. So, and of course my heart says, you know, that's crazy. You know, just one? I mean, there's, well, there's money, a little bit of money, to do at least two more. So, I don't know. But he's, he's tired, I'm sure. <laughs> he's tired. I'm tired. I still want it. He still wants it. But, you know, sometimes I guess the effort put into it is not, it's not paying off. By any means. You know, and I feel like I'm getting older. And if I give up now, I'm giving up forever. So, and like, I'd like to do IVF if I had the money. I would, but I don't have the money. And if I do attempt IVF, I'll be doing it because I signed up for one of those grants or whatever and I got the money. Who knows if I'll ever do that, you know? But I'm getting old, you know? I can't, I can't be messing around right now. So if this IUI doesn't work, I'm at least doing one more. Now, if this I, IUI doesn't work and I don't ovulate, then my husband agrees, yes, let's do another. But if I ovulate then I'll, and it doesn't work, I'm still going to want to do one more, at the very least. Maybe two. Because <laughs> right now it's only costing us like 
a little under $600 to do all of the meds and the IUI procedure. And that is like dirt cheap compared to what I was doing with my old doctor, which was the injectables, no IUI, injectables and timed intercourse. So with that, we were spending like $1,100 per cycle. So right now, $1,100 would pay for two cycles, you know, with the IUI and the just the Femar um, or the Letrozole all by itself. So, I mean, my, my pocketbook says I've got more IUIs in me. I guess it just depends on if I if I do ovulate, because if not, they're going to add the injectable. I'm not the injectable. Well, it is. They'll add the um, HCG to the treatment next time to, to force ovulation. So, yep, so that's where I'm at. I am on a new cycle the new doctor and the end is near I mean we're almost at the end of of our fertility journey because of money because of sanity a little bit um, and from there on who knows what's gonna happen so that's where we're at um, so I'll probably try to post a little video about my ovulation because I am curious if my body's going to go ahead and push that one little 17 egg out. I'm sure by the time I had my IUI, it probably bumped up to an 18 um, since it was the next day. And, and they say like they grow like one to two millimeters a day. So I'm thinking probably by the by the IUI day, it probably was an 18. So this is my, I'm going to call it an 18 egg. So I am curious to see if my 18 did ovulate. So I will go ahead and post a little video letting you know. Um, on another note, things have been really busy and that's why I've been late on my video. Um, we're getting ready to move from this house. You'll have a new background here soon. Um, and it's just been crazy. And I've been working like a crazy person. And my husband is working like a crazy person. And this is the only chance I've had to sit down. And, you know, we're going to appointments and stuff like that. So I'm tired. <laughs> and I've been busy. And I'm exhausted. And I'm glad tomorrow's Saturday because I'm going to sleep in so hard. Even though we've got lots of work to do. Because we are moving. So we do have to pack. I've got to pack up this whole room. And all the other rooms, but this will probably be my first room here because this is my craft room. So, yeah. Okay, I've rambled on a lot. You don't want to watch a 13-minute video about nonsense and one egg and if I've ovulated. So, okay, I'm done. I'm leaving. I'm out. <laughs>